I want to tell you a few things to all of you guys that if you really want to become a good blockchain developer, then you have to understand every single project we have built on our channel. So recently, one of you have insisted me to make a video on this particular project we have on real estate marketplace and he's encountered a couple of errors. So he's asking me to explain. I already made a two videos on this. He must be not following the complete playlist. That's why he is having this particular issue. So I'm going to clear his doubt in this particular video. And in this video, I already explained that what changes you have to do if you want to run the entire project in your local system, because recently third wave is not allowing you to use their service because you need to provide the API key and the secret key. And due to that, a lot of you have faced an error. So I already explained everything, but still he is facing the issue. So I thought let's make a video. And if you have encountered the same issue, so make sure to watch till the end, it will fix your doubt so what i'm going to do is i can show you that you can see this is the entire code i got it so once you will download that because he downloaded the source code and he having the issue in that i already explained it but i don't know why he's facing that issue so this is the code once you would download let me unzip that so i'll show you that how you can start the application so this is the project and this is the one which i'm going to open it so i'll come back here in my vs and let me close all of this Let's open one more time and I can click on this open and I can go to the downloads and here you can see this is the folder I have. So I have simply downloaded the zip file and extracted and this is the folder I got. I can simply open that in the, and in that you will have this five folder. I already explained this in detail in the project. So if you haven't watched this playlist, make sure to access this playlist. We have built every single thing from scratch. So make sure to follow the complete playlist that will give you better idea. Let's come back to the project. So I'm going to simply open this particular directory. I open it and here I have all these five folders in my code. So we have all of this. So first one we have is this final code and that we have used third web, but you can go with that. If you follow this particular playlist, you can simply build with the third web. But in that some of the students are facing this configuration problem, the authentication problem. But if you face this particular issue, all you have to do is to watch this video. And that I have explained that how you can do the changes in the code to use it in your local system. So this is the code which I have provided and that I have updated everything. So this is our client side. And this is our contract side. So once you will download the code, this is exactly what you will get. So the very first thing we have to do is we have to get into this particular folder. So let me expand this one and let me open my terminal. So here you can see I'm in the main directory means in this particular folder. Now I have to go into this particular folder because in that we have the client and we have the contract. So before we install, I want to show you some things. Come back here in the contract and you will see that here we are using this two package. Make sure to use the exact version no matter when you are watching this project. As long as you use the exact version, everything will work fine. This is our test scripts. So here we are deploying our contract. Here I have given you the commands which you can simply run. And you can see this is the contract. So this is the contract which we're going to deploy. Again, just follow the complete playlist where we have written this entire contract from scratch, which we're going to deploy. So the very first thing we have to do is we have to get into this folder. So open it, type CD. So you can simply go to any folder by giving the name CD and then type the name of the folder. So F I N A L C O D E updated. So this is the name of the folder and I'm going into this particular folder. So I'll sit enter and here I'm into this particular folder. I have to go into the contract. So I'll say CD contract. So here I'm into the contract folder and now I have to install the packages. So simply type npmi or install both will work fine so this is the exact step you have to follow hit enter and here it's going to install all the dependency we have you can see we got this node module this process might takes a little bit time because like hard it takes a little bit time and here we have installed that one so that's the very first step you have to do first you have to unzip the folder then you have to get into the contract folder and install the libraries once you're done with that simply clear your terminal we are done with that now you have to split the terminal Okay, I have to teach you like a baby because <laughs> some of you are not able to understand that. Why? That's why I'm doing it. Okay, so first, you, after that, you have to split your terminal. Then you have to run your local node, means local blockchain, you can call it. So we have to type px hard hat and node. This will start the node in your local system. So this is the exact command you have to write in one terminal and hit enter. And this will start the application and it will give you 20 plus accounts. So Hardhat provide you 20 plus account to test your contract. 
and by default it will take you the very first account so it will take you the very first account to deploy a contract so if you want to import any one of these account into your metamask all you have to do is to simply take the private key and copy so if i want to import this first account because this is the account which is used by harder to deploy the contract i can do that i can simply copy that one i can come back to the metamask and here you can see that i have to select the network so here i'm currently testing on my local so make sure you have to do the configuration for the local environment so if you don't know how to do that simply click on this add network so cl close that one so first i have to simply give my password let me give it and hit enter so here i'm back into my account and by default hardhead will use this account number two so as i told you this is the address which i'm going to import so if i import it's going to click here click and confirm paste if i do it will say that i have already imported my account so this is the account which i have imported account number two and i haven't deployed the contract that's why you can see the fund is there so this is the first step you have to do if you want to configure the network all you have to do is to click here in add network and here you have to configure the local host network come back to the networks and here you have to do the exactly the same thing so here you can see the local host give the name give the rpc url give the chain id and the ether and save it so that's how you have to add the local network once you're done with that save it so we are done with the metamask setup now what we have to do is come back here and let's deploy the contract so here come back to the next terminal and now we have to run the deploy script so if you come back here here i have already given you this particular command so simply copy and paste so right now we are going to test on local host but when you want to do with the polygon you can do that so i have already done the deployment so let me simply find the command and there it is this is the exact command you have to do all you have to do is change the name of the network so here it's polygon for deploying to the polygon but here we are doing on the local host so npx hard at run script deploy network and we have the local host hope so far things are clear to all of you guys then hit enter but before you deploy the contract you can see that there is a already artifact is here so i want you to delete it i want you to delete it because when you will deploy the contract it's going to generate a new artifact so you can be in the safer side if you make any change in the contract make sure to delete the artifact old artifact delete okay let me delete it and here i have deleted the artifact now let me deploy the contract hit enter all you have to do is to hit enter it's going to use the account number one and it will deploy a contract so here we got the address so it will give you the same address in your case you will have the same address so simply copy and that's what you have to paste here so come back here in the context contents and here you can see this is the exact address you will get so this one is for the local environment and this one is i already explained you in the previous video if you come back here i already explained you here in this video for the test network so you can check that so i'm going to simply paste here and it's exactly the same address and save it now what we have to do is if you make any change in the contract then definitely you have to delete the old abi because you need to get the new abi so let's delete that and here we have the artifact inside the artifact we have the contract then we have to simply drag and drop the context here abi and move it so this is the second setup you have to do so we have our api in the client side and we have deploy our contract and everything is working absolutely fine no issue we have make sure that this should be running you don't stop this local node if you do that the contract will not work and you will have an error so once you're done with that now we have to get into the client folder because we have done everything which we have to do with the contract we have simply run the local node we have deployed we got the artifact and that's the thing we have to do now we have to simply clear the terminal first then we have to go out of this contract folder so we'll say cd dot dot and it will take us to the main directory means in this directory now from there we have to go into the client so let's say cd cli client and here i'm into the client folder now what i have to do is first i have to install all of these packages so again no matter when you are watching this project you have to use the exact version as long as you use the exact version everything would be fine so once you're done with that this is the command we have to run npm run dev so type npm run dev and this will start the application so you can see i'm getting this error because before i start the application i have to install the dependency okay my bad simply clear the terminal and type npm i and we have to install all of the packages and hit enter it's going to install all the dependencies so here we got the node module so just wait it will take few seconds because we have a lot of packages so the downloading is completed now we have to clear the terminal and now we can start our application so this is the command you have to run 
again this is the command you have to write type npm run dev and now our application is started so far everything is clear to all of you guys first you have to unzip the folder in that you will get all of these five folder i have already explained on what you will get in the other folders make sure to watch the complete project so come back into this particular folder in that you will have this two folder first you have to install the dependency then you have to run the local node and you have to get the artifact and drag and drop here then you have to install the dependency here and start the application so you can see everything is looking fine no issue so far now we can come back to our application open a new tab and our application is already started on localhost 3 the entire playlist you will understand every single thing i would suggest you to understand every single logic we have built that how we are building the smart contract how we are adding the functionality how things are taking place in the contract and getting the data so if you don't try that's why we have this huge playlist so this is how you can start the application every single thing is working fine i hope now you have a complete idea that how you have to run the application so that's the only thing i want to tell you again i would encourage you that come and follow the entire playlist follow every single thing step by step then you will master whatever technology we have included so step by step master if you have any confusion you can watch this video and that i've explained everything that how you can do the setup if you if third wave is not working in your case then you can simply follow the uh, follow the like localhost method so with that i'm ending this video hope you guys have got an idea that how you can start the application and your doubt is clear with that i'm ending this video have a wonderful day bye, -bye.